we left off. We just finished. We left off. We just finished day five, I believe. Um, we had a good looting session. Uh, found some booze. Found found some food, and uh, found some gears. The gears are more important. We're not able to make a rat cage yet, but we're really close. So, go ahead and go to sleep. You're hungry. I get that, Bruno. Where are you? You're tired. It's okay. Good thing we don't have a drinker. This is a really good thing to sell. People get really desperate for them. It's kind of like in real life. When uh, uh, 2020 happened, everyone was trying to buy booze and all that. And I'm over here. I'm okay. It's because I don't drink. I'm my own party. Alrighty. So making the meals. Now notice food is easy now. Because water is coming through with this um, water collector. Oh. What? Oh, you made one, but you didn't make the other. Okay, um, I used to be an optimist, but one of those people who'd sworn that war wouldn't come, wars happened far away in third world countries, or so I thought. Even when I was listening to the news, getting scarier, Day by day, I did not believe this was about to happen. Yeah, it's accepting of his situation. That's good for him. He's tired, so after you do that, Bruno, you did a good job. Alrighty, you are hungry. Awesome. So, we don't have to worry about incoming snow. We don't have to worry about incoming snow. That's really nice. But we have no food now. And that's kind of skeptical. Let's look at our things. We got, uh, we, we need a little bit more water. Pretty good on this. Pretty good on this. Ah, we're two away from there. Trades. We have some pretty good gear here. A little bit low on our consumables, but that's okay. Um, all in all, I think we're pretty well structured. Oh, Katia, you're up. I get you're tired, hungry. Oh, oh, let's look. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make another border. Because we have to defend ourselves as much as possible. So, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? He's got food. We need two gears, at least. I would... Let's take all those gears. Uh, people don't care about water too much. Water is just extra. Um, food is interesting. Consumables is also... That's interesting, too. So, diamond? Diamond? booze so they notice they're like hey that's really generous oh yeah okay can we sprinkle some sugar um let's take away a gear take away the sugar food is crazy especially pre-cooked food um that's not bad um Let's get rid of everything real quick and see if they, yeah, see, I mean, it's just, it's an unreasonable market for pre-cooked food. So I think we'll be okay with that. Um, the two gears, at least for now, stacking up on water is good because it doesn't cost anything. Um, one of those. Four of those. Okay. I, I think I'm okay with this. Two diamonds. Getting this. Um, okay. You want to keep your wood. I get that. I respect that. Um, 
I want to keep my bullets. I want to keep my book. My electronics and all that I want to keep. I want to keep. I think this is fair. I think this is fair. Uh, we'll make a deal. We need to trade for at least two of these. Um, oh. Oh, it seems to be a one-to-one, -one, the sugar. You see that? Well, then let's do a one-to-one -one with sugar. Um, no. Do what we need. No, no nothing more. Alrighty. You can go... Uh, where, where's the cook? She can eat later on. Uh, you're gonna go here. We're gonna make the rat trap. Yeah. So let's put this rat trap. I like to put them kind of like down here, you know, like someone can easily just come by. Yeah. So we got two beds there. We put a third there. Yeah, I like that. It makes sense. Every day we're shuffling them. So the rat trap, yeah, you put a tomato in. We don't have a tomato. You either put a tomato in or you put one of these in. And it gives you two food back, which is really nice. Um, it just depends. So I think we're going to get those tomatoes from the first place. And then we'll go from there. Alrighty, the rat trap is now made. So if I go here and click here, it'll say I can either put this, this, or... I don't know why you would put a canned meat. But they don't know how long. It'll make two. So ideally, putting it in one will make two for later. So it's a better trade later on. You just don't know how long. I think it might be worth it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Uh, normally, with these rat cages, you can put in something. But you just don't know when they're going to be coming and giving you a reward. So it kind of sucks. But it pays off later on. So now we're going to go ahead and increase our defenses. She's tired, hungry, and content. I have no food. So we're going to build another one of these. I eventually need to build a furnace. But while we can build more defenses, it's always better. So we're going to go here and see what we can do. Where, is, where did he go? Ah! He's fixing this hole in the wall over here. Which is pretty cool, actually, that they fix up holes in the wall and it's kind of like an interactive base. Um, we don't need that many filters and kindling. We're okay. So let's see if we can do crafting at all. Uh, we can make a crowbar. We don't need a crowbar. Upgrading? We need a lot to upgrade. So, we're far away from that. And yeah, that would, that's going to be a pretty long thing there. So guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and continue on to the next day. Because um, there's not really much else to do in this day. Oh! Maybe there was. That guy was kind of building something. Well, we'll see how that works. Alright, so she's going to sleep in bed. She's hungry, but content. Um, Brino's going to guard. We're going to scavenge. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We need to upgrade that crafting station to get us a saw. 
once we get a saw that we can actually get into these restricted areas. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and try the church out. Let's take a crowbar with us just in case. I don't think we'll have any issues at the church, but who knows. Alrighty. Worst comes to worst, that's still good loot. Oh, I remember now. Like, you can't go past this person. So, like, literally, this. We don't need a teddy bear right now. So pretty calm guys a lot of rubble past there um nothing that was in there so you can trade he has meds and a lot of cigarettes he has a lot he has a lot of book oh well yeah the pastor has a lot of books that makes sense Okay, I'll leave. Sorry, mate. I didn't know that was your stuff. Is this teddy bear worth it? No. It's not worth taking the teddy bear. Alright, let's just go ahead and run the exit. So, we can trade with these guys, but nothing crazy. That sucks we didn't find any food. We might have to go into somewhere that's dangerous, and I don't like that because I don't have a gun. Alright, day seven. The night was calm and forth full of terrors. terrors. So she's hungry, he's hungry, he's tired. You go there, you go there. How's her water doing? 17 water, oh, we're fine. board up another place that might be good keep up our defenses make it harder for people to actually attack us yeah we need to get a garden going at some point but for what we got right now that's just kind of making the best out of it so as you guys can see it's day seven we have some things going for us we got a little bit of survivability but it's hard it's like by the skin of our teeth so it's not great. Um, hopefully in the next couple of days we can get our food situation taken care of. And we'll be on track. Because I mean, in all honesty, once we take care of our food, we're running really smooth. Um, a lot of people are happy about what we've done. We haven't done anything that makes our people think they just can't take it. And no one's in a depressed state. And honestly, depression is a huge part of this game it's pretty morbid um <laughs> especially if you lose a person in a scavenging raid and you didn't mean to and then everyone's upset because kenny took a wrong turn in the hallway and got shot um that really makes everyone else very upset especially bruno which would be upset for then 15 days following afterwards Oh, uh, wonder where this next one's at. 
Okay, so he finished that one there, and we finished that one there. All right. I think that's all the bordering things left. Um, because I think you only have three times you can improve your base with that. Um, yeah, if you notice it's now gone, that means we just can't improve it anymore. It's maximized, so that's really good. So now all of our resources can go into upgrading workstations and such now that we've prepped our defenses. So the only thing we really can do is check the radio. Let's see what the radio has to say. Come on now. The city of Porgon is suffering extreme shortages. Uh, oh, this is the same thing. <laughs> Most animals have disappeared from the streets. Keep that in mind uh, when buying meat from devious sources. The more you know. Alright, does anyone have bios? Nope. Enough sleeping. Everyone is hungry. So food needs to be the next place we go to. Somewhere with food. Um, and now he has no cigarettes. So he would want to smoke a cigarette right now. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I think end the day. Yeah, I don't think anything else happens. Well, I'm going to let it play out, guys. Um, I'll let you know if there's anything special, but if not, um, I will see you guys on night seven. Alrighty guys, nothing happened unfortunately, so we're gonna go into the nighttime. Alrighty, so we got a couple new places, that's good. Uh, construction site, there is a danger. And there's a person you gotta watch out for and hide. It's interesting. I like it. Military outpost, lots of trade, but they're kind of ass. They're trying. They're kind of people you don't want to deal with. Um, Bruno, you're gonna guard. Scavenge old town. Some food. Some food. Hotel. Huge amounts of food. Prepare. I have meds. I can take meds and herbs. And I can see what I can do for trade for food. Let's go. I should have took a crowbar, but that's okay. Hopefully there's some decent stuff here. Howdy. Oh, so this is the steel icon if you want to take food from them. That's not horrible. Ah, oof. Oof. That's a big oof for me. Um, yeah, we'll make that deal.
So let's see if there's anything else we can scavenge around here. not horrible I, I think i am going to take a teddy bear this time um you only need one for one kid but just in case you know Ooh. oh oh this is really good all right teddy bears getting out of here um electronic component we don't need you gear that's neat yeah we'll take both the gear and the gun piece um i kept the medicine actually So this is not a horrible day. Um, that's good. All right, let's go higher and see if there's anything loot wise. Okay, there's this. Okay, more lumber. Um, I think I will actually replace a group of four with two lumber. I think it's decent to come back here again. Especially with how much we're finding, too. Two more teddy bears? Jesus Christ. Good, another gear. Yeah, we're gonna come back here. We're gonna try to find things that we can trade. Um, it's not easy to get water these days. It's easy for me, boy. So, we might trade them some water. Alright, I think that's as good as we're gonna go. So, we're gonna run to exit. Oh, thank God they didn't do anything stupid. I was really hoping they wouldn't, like, run right into the middle of their enemy base or whatnot. Alright, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. I appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you guys next time in day number eight. Yeah. Yeah, that's day eight right there. Night was calm. Alright, that makes it easy, guys. Alright, I'll see you guys next time in this war of mine. See ya.